what is up hello everybody and welcome to lost in the world okay so this is just going to be a super quick overview of, of what is coming in the next patch there's been a huge info dump by mihoyo it's a huge update all for free pretty incredible um so we're going to just quickly get into it release date approximately gmt as i'm uk based is 10 p.m on tuesday night check up your local time zones utc plus eight for those who go by utc so standard stuff at the start of these updates uh, from mihoyo but then we've got the compensation again which is great you're looking at roughly 300 uh, gems 60 an hour fingers crossed it lasts for a little bit more as i'm going to be asleep so um you know selfishly let's hope we get that up to about 600 uh, to add to my uh, count um moving forward what we've got coming is content characters and events and uh, there's a lot of them uh, as per the leaks the character cadence is going to be uh split in two so we've got child diona um and the other four stars that are already in the game coming in the next three week banner and then we'll have zongli zinyan uh, and then the current four stars in the game coming with them in three weeks time let's just get into it quickly i'll try and be uh, as quick as possible uh, child diona as i just said you get to test run the two new characters do not summon without test running first of all do not summon if you can't afford it do not summon if you cannot afford it this game gives you so much free content all the characters you can get with no money are brilliant and you can complete everything in the game and build amazing characters you know there's a pandemic no need to spend money on this game it is a free game you know get the most out of it as you can However, if however, even <laughs> if you want to whale, test the characters first uh, and go from there. I believe Charles' numbers will be massive. I think he'll be um, as just he's not even looking like law wise and who he is. I think they'll make him a, a strong character. Zongli uh, is coming later, um, and they do confirm that here. There's only the Geo, sorry, G I said Geo Catalyst, but the Catalyst Five Star Catalyst, for, and I believe that's for Ning Wan as a Geo user. So that is kind of for her. Um, I'll leave it up to you whether or not you want to summon for that. Um, they're going to wishes, sorry, wishes. They're going to events and the event wish and the next event wish for the weapons will have the claymore and the pole arm. That'll be coming, I think, December the 1st, roughly. So I'd probably save for that. Quests, a huge amount of quests. If you're struggling for adventure rank XP, just wait till Wednesday. These are all going to give a lot of XP and will make the 30 to 40 grind a lot easier. There's a whole new quest line for the Archon quest and it looks amazing from the 1.1 trailer that came out. It, it really does look like it's taking the story to the next level. I probably need to start paying attention to the story uh, and I will be watching a quick summary guide of the story because uh, I may have pressed spacebar a lot when skipping the story. So you've also got the child story quest, similar to the, I believe, Mona and Klee quests we got in the 30 adventure rank ranges. So we're also getting that as well. So we're getting Archon quest, child quest, and then we're getting world quests. I believe these are the ones that give you a bit of extra XP. Um, so not they're not huge, but still it's nice. You know, nice to get the free, free XP. Then we've got a new event, which I find this wording here interesting. So from doing the event, you get this stuff. Fading Stars Might, Fading Stars Essence. And then you can spend that in an event store, which is different to what they did before. I'm pretty certain it is. But it, it looks good enough. Fingers crossed this doesn't cost thousands of resin to use, because that would that would be a bummer. I mean, the last quest I would have done, uh, sorry, the last event I would have done a lot more if it didn't require resin, because I had other things to spend resin on, as does everyone. So, I mean, the, people talk about reworking the resin system. I think just being a bit smart with what does and doesn't require resin would be a really good, really good change. Um, city reputation system. I'm not sold on this yet. There's a bounty system in there. It looks like, judging from some screenshots that I've leaked, you have three bounties you can um, get per city. And they give 60, 80, and 100 bound, um, reputation each. But you can only do three, so you need to do two 100s and 180 um, is what you need to be doing on them what the rewards are fingers crossed resin which would be nice uh, fragile resin xp it needs to be giving good rewards this otherwise it's just a bit of a filler system for me 
Um, but fingers crossed. I know they give um, blueprints for things that can come in handy. I think the jury's out on how handy one teleport waypoint and being able to cook where you want is, but we'll see. Everything else is phenomenal, really, for a, a, a free game. Uh, it's I know they're making a lot of money on the gacha system, but it's still great that all this stuff's for free. Exploration progress system, nice for completionists. Archive system, nice for completionists. Uh, I'm not a completionist. I don't really get into all this stuff. But um, this is the, I mean, this is brilliant. So we can now map our own key setup, which is great. I've got unused mouse keys that are desperate to be used. And uh, we've got graphic settings and camera settings, which would be nice just to mess around with that. If you've got the uh, PC to zoom out a bit, and uh, the game is very PC friendly to be fair. Uh, but no, these, these are great additions and the quality of life changes that are much needed. Equipment locking function are much needed for artifacts. I've got loads of artifacts that I'm waiting to see um, which ones I'm going to use because it depends on who I get lucky with in the summons. And then we've got the release time. Uh, moving on quickly, um, we have the Caesar Day login event, same as before. I mean, it's free stuff. We'll take it all. Uh, Hero's weight, I think it's a total of 300 Primer Gems. Yeah, really, you're getting 600 free gems with the 300 for the maintenance and, and 300 from this. Pick up the, um, is it the Wayfarer bundle? I forgot what it's called. But it's the best value thing you can, you can really buy in the game. Ah, I hate it when I press the wrong button. Uh, yeah, here we go, what's it called? Welkin Moon, I don't know where I got Wayfarer bundle from. All right, so. That's starting again. I'm got a quick update on the story, just confirming that you need story key chapters, which you get from doing the daily commission quests. Pretty straightforward, free adventure rank. They confirm a free Barbara in the next update. So in the next news update on the website, you get free Barbara. If you don't have it, it's a Hydro Healer. Actually, I've, I've got a fully constellationed out by pure, just pure luck or bad luck, whichever way you want to look at it. But it's nice for people who don't have her. Quest start time, just again reconfirming a bit of story, a bit of lore on the new Archon quest coming. Adventure rank 35 needed, and then we've got the Battle Pass. Battle Pass, not as much detail as I'd like on the Battle Pass, but it is there, um, and that will be starting. So it's just some stuff, a lot of new stuff to grind for, obviously, you know, it gives people targets, daily targets for things to do. Okay, and that's that really. So other than that, as you can see, you've got a massive promo gem count going here for 1.1. I'll be summoning live on Twitch on Wednesday when the patch drops. Join in. Twitch link is in the banner in the description. And on the screen, you've got the promo gem count there. Uh, other than that, we will see you on Wednesday. Enjoy the new patch. Enjoy the content. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you later. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Peace out and look after yourselves.